Hey, it's Dr. Charles, AKA Coach MD. As a physician for over 30 years, I made it my goal to help you create a great life by achieving a strong mind, a healthy body, and an unshakable spirit. What I'd like to talk to you about today is why it's important to know and understand heartburn symptoms. You see, symptoms of heartburn can mimic other types of disorders. And if you don't know the difference, you could really go crazy and get really scared. Especially when you determine what's the difference between heartburn symptoms and chest pain symptoms. When I say chest pain symptoms, well, heartburn can give you chest pain, but when we think of chest pain symptoms, a lot of us, the first thing we think of is, oh my goodness, heart attack. Well, there are very specific differences between symptoms of heartburn and symptoms of a heart attack. And it's important to know the difference. It can make the difference of calling 911 getting really scared and just stepping back, collecting yourself and doing the sensible thing. But don't get me wrong. If you ever have any doubt, make sure you check with your own physician. It's very important to do that. Even though what I'm going to tell you can help you greatly, you always want to be sure. So let's take a look at the difference between heartburn symptoms and heart attack symptoms. As we learned in my previous video, the reason why we get discomfort from heartburn is that acid is coming from the stomach into our esophagus where it doesn't belong. Since the esophagus runs in the center of our chest, and since our heart sits about in the center of our chest, often the symptoms can mimic each other. One of the three things to remember about any pain when it's serious is, is the pain increasing in frequency, duration, or severity? Typically heart symptoms, if it's really a heart attack, heaven forbid, is going to increase in the frequency of the pain meaning you're getting it often at rest or at activity, the duration, it's gonna last longer, and the severity is gonna be quite severe. Heartburn symptoms too can be quite severe, but typically they don't increase in frequency, duration, or severity. They kind of come and go at different times. Chest pain associated with some type of heart ailment doesn't mean it's a heart attack. It could be what's called angina, which is a blockage of blood flow to the heart. It usually happens with activity. Although if it's quite severe and kind of a pre-heart attack kind of situation, it could be at rest also. That pain is usually constant and has been described as though an elephant is sitting upon your chest, more like a pressure pain. Whereas heartburn pain is usually not a pressure pain. It's sometimes described as a burning pain or burning discomfort. That's how it gets the name heartburn, right? If there's an irritation in the esophagus due to acid irritating the esophagus, heartburn pain can be as though it's kind of a stabbing or sharp pain. Although we can never say never in medicine, it's very unlikely that any type of sharp or stabbing pain is coming from your heart. So the quality of the pain is very important. Where the pain is located also and understanding whether that pain travels. So for instance, Pain from heartburn usually doesn't travel, meaning it's usually in the center of the chest. Whereas pain from the heart, due to the nerve endings that go to the heart, that pain can travel in many different places. It can travel to the shoulder, the right or the left. It can travel typically to the left arm, but the right arm as well. It can travel to the jaw, the throat. Heartburn pain usually doesn't travel. It's usually when it's severe, usually in one place. So for instance, it could just be in the throat and it would be an uncomfortable, kind of a grainy or scratchy feeling. Whereas the pain from the heart is going to be an intense, generally not a throbbing pain. Is there anything that you can do to make the pain go away? That could be a sign also. So for instance, heartburn pain, drinking some type of substance that neutralizes the acid. You've seen maybe the old Alka-Seltzer commercials. <laughs> to neutralize the acid and sometimes that can relieve the pain. Taking something like an antacid, like a Tums or a medication, Pepsid AC for instance, those will generally relieve the pain due to heartburn. Pain originating from the heart usually is relieved by rest. However, as I said before, if it's quite severe, taking a nitroglycerin that your doctor might have prescribed, if that takes the pain away, usually more times than not, it's due to your heart. The one exception is that if you have chronic acid reflux heartburn, let's say, 
and if there's a chronic irritation of the esophagus, it might cause the esophagus to spasm, to kind of close as a reaction to the irritation. Nitroglycerin actually can help relieve that. So when that's the case, it may get a little muddy trying to determine what's the difference. This is why it's important to tell the difference. And a lot of times you have to leave it up to your doctor to really sort this out and to understand what's causing your discomfort. But you too can get an idea by looking at the symptoms. Before I go on, if you feel these videos are helpful to you and maybe helpful to others, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel and leave your comments below. Let me know and let others know your experience and what you have done to kind of figure out ways to look at your symptoms. And if you feel that the information that I'm providing is valuable, check out Coach MD on Patreon. So together we can support this mission and I can continue to provide valuable content to help the growth of you and others like you. So it's important to know the difference because you just don't want to go on in your life with symptoms that are that, that you don't know what's causing them. And that could be symptoms that are not what you think they are. There are times when people go to the doctor complaining of indigestion. They might go to the stomach doctor, for instance, a gastroenterologist complaining of indigestion. And we know that heartburn can be described as indigestion. It is also known to cause nausea and sometimes even vomiting. But guess what? When the circulation to the heart is cut off or slowed down, and if it is in a particular part of the heart, it can cause those symptoms too. It can be misinterpreted as heartburn because the heart sits in the chest like this on a tilt like this, and the bottom part actually rubs up against the diaphragm. The lower part of the heart rubs up against the diaphragm. And the diaphragm, as I talked about in my previous video, separates the stomach contents from the chest contents. But if there is a blockage in the bottom part of the heart, it can cause an inflammation or an irritation of the diaphragm, causing that to be spasm in a way, and that can cause symptoms that might be misinterpreted as indigestion. But when it occurs is really important. Those type of indigestion symptoms in that location generally occur after meals, in the case of heartburn, but during activity and stress when it might be related to the heart. There's a condition, which I didn't mention in my previous video, called a hiatal hernia. The hiatal hernia is when part of the stomach actually leaves the stomach and goes up through the diaphragm into the chest a little bit. I talked about the lower esophageal sphincter in my previous video. That's the separation of the stomach, kind of like a, like a swing door. Should be a one-way swing door that separates the chest or the lower part of the esophagus from the stomach. Sometimes that door comes off its hinges, so to speak, and part of the stomach rides up into the chest. So that can be an irritation and can mimic conditions that are related to the chest or the lung, for instance. It can generally feel like a discomfort, but rarely to the severity or the feeling as though something is sitting on your chest, like in cases of heart pain, chest pain related to the heart. It's really important to know the difference. And most of the times you're going to need a doctor to really sort it out. But when you have the time to take a look at your symptoms and understand literally what your gut is telling you, you'll know whether there's a sense of emergency or whether you have time to reflect on it. If there's any doubt in your mind, however, always seek a professional opinion from your own doctor. Or if you're very uncertain about it, you call 911. So until next time, I'm Dr. Charles, a.k.a. Coach MD. Stay strong in mind, in body, and in soul. Bye for now. Hey, Dr. Charles, Coach MD. Thanks for stopping by. Make sure to like and comment below. I'd love to hear from you. If you think you have a friend who might benefit from this video, share it with them. For access to exclusive content, support my Patreon. There you'll get private access to videos, meditations, health tips, even relationship and financial tips. You'll have a say in what I produce and be able to participate in a monthly call with me. Don't forget to follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. See you soon.